you know, uh, Dr. Srihan, like you did say, whatever we discuss now in retrospect could be futile. But uh, the fact that he felt slightly uneasy, we hear a contradictory report saying that he went to the hotel and then that's where he, he threw up, he wasn't able to handle that sickness and then he collapsed. And that's when he, he was rushed to the hospital. Uh, do you think there could have been error in judgment? Uh, soon after the concert, he was feeling uneasy, he should have been taken, taken to the hospital first. No, no, no. See, this is all a matter of spec. Who did what? Because, uh, you know, we should not be speculating. It's a very tragic event. It's a, it's a big loss to the country and to the music industry. And uh, I think that unnecessary speculation on this should not be done. The autopsy report will be available a little later in the day. And we know the true cause. But what I was using this uh, interaction with you was to warn people to warn people that, look, if you have, like today we say, know your genes. If you have history of heart disease in the family, then you should be following a certain regimen, which we have described. And we say, okay, we do a checkup at this stage. That's a, a house, how to go about in subsequent checkups so that we can keep these people safe. So those are the things that we need to really pay attention to that when when a reminder comes like this, when a healthy person who is a singer, who has this uh, sudden de uh, death happens, then it sends alarm waves around us. It also, like, you know, sends a shiver up your, uh, up your body to say it can happen to anybody. But can we do anything? So today we are at a stage in medicine, especially in cardiology and cardiac uh, sciences, that we can actually do a predictive model for a given individual. We know all the, all the contributing factors. I mean, with a great degree of accuracy, we can tell people who are at a higher risk of getting a heart attack and those who are not. And also give a little bit of a follow-up to say, this is where we have to check periodically, milestone it for that individual, rather than telling the whole country that you need to do this, that, these. That science has now come, the molecular science that we have today, the genetic science that we have today, makes it eminently predictable for us to say with great degree of accuracy who are the people at risk. And those people who are at risk have to be careful. And I'll tell you one, one very important fact, that heart attacks, high blood pressure, stress, they're all related. So you can't tell the whole world don't do any stressful work, but the people who are, are at, at risk, which we can determine, they should actually manage their lifestyle a little differently than people who do not have that high risk. We know uh, precaution is certainly better than post-mortem, and that, that's what we see here. Uh, if he possibly had a history of heart disease, then that, uh, or, or anyone for that matter, as per your words, must be slightly more careful. But what we're aghast here is that uh, KK as a singer had a very clean, super clean lifestyle, uh, never smoked, didn't drink. We hear that he never stayed up late, did not, uh, was not known for uh, party life as such. And it's not like uh, him singing at a concert was a, a new phenomenon for him. He's done this extensively over his 20 odd years of his career and this this certainly wasn't something that his body received a shock with uh, he so ha he carries out riyas every day he sings uh, to the to high tunes and high pitch on a regular basis records on a daily basis uh, so for a man who's 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 singing as his daily routine this comes no, as a shock that's the point i'm making to you that you can have silent heart disease developing inside you, which you don't know about. It can be detected with a great degree of success by this, the tests that we prescribe. So unless he had a regular checkup, which is very possible, I don't know what the history is. But what I'm saying, if you take this, I mean, loss as a, as a communication to all the people who are actually listening to this to say, please calibrate yourself as an individual. There are general rules and there are individual rules. So just because somebody is not drinking, not smoking, not doing any uh, other uh, indulgences, does not mean that they are not getting heart disease inside. Yes, smoking, Drinking does contribute to 
to uh, development of heart disease. But like I said, anybody can get heart disease, so I'll give you a data on that. If you do not have any risk factors, in India, there is somewhere a chance around from 8 to 10 percent that you will get heart disease just by the makeup of our genes, our, our uh, eating habits, our lifestyles. So all those things contribute to India's heart disease burden being at least twice, two to three times that of the United States. Although the fact is that in the United States they abuse diet hugely. There is more obesity in the United States than there is in India. But we have a very sedentary lifestyle. We have a rich diet also. And we have a genetic propensity which is higher than most countries in the world. So given these three factors, we are at risk. Now you add another risk to that, that is known heart disease to, in your family, your chances of getting heart disease doubles. So that means you have to be that much more careful in monitoring your risk factors, which you can control. There are many things we can control. Like you say, if you have biochemical defect, like your cholesterol, all the other uh, parameters that we measure can be controlled today. Stress busting can be done. We, we prescribe yoga is the best thing for you to incorporate in your life. Pranayama is very important, especially if you have a stressful life. Exercise is, is paramount. So if you do these things that you can actually reverse some of the risk factors. And if that be so, you can also reduce the chances of getting a heart attack. So I am very clear in my communication that no speculation on what happened to, to KK. We will find out soon from the, from the uh, autopsy report. But as a general reminder to all of us that this tragedy is lurking and many, many people have lost their lives to heart attacks and things like that, that we should pay attention. We should pay attention generally and we should pay attention individually because the genetic imprint will tell you where you are headed. So if you have heart disease, you know your chance of getting heart disease is double if your family has it. If you have diabetes in the family, again, the chance of getting diabetes for the children is double. And if you, if, if you have risk of both, that means you have a very high risk of developing heart disease. So I think that's the warning that I would like to give. And uh, beyond that, I do, do not want to speculate on what happened and what, what should have been done and what should not have been done.